Hey guys, this is Ed, and uh, today in, in this video, I think I have something special. For Not really special, but really helpful. Um, so this is 2006 Ford Explorer, and uh, I want to show you. There's a little problem with it. <coughs> so now, uh, if your heat, let's say your blower motor works doesn't work on one, two, three, but works only on four. And it doesn't work on any other uh, regime. So it works only on four, so it means your blower motor resistor is gone. So I have a new blower motor resistor for this car. Uh, please note, uh, blower motor resistors you have only in cars with manual adjustment, uh, climate control. If you have buttons, you know, then it's not gonna, this is not gonna work. So this is our blower motor resistor. Okay, it's very cheap. I bought it for $17 online. And uh, the procedure of replacing it is also very, very simple. So let's do this. Let me see. Okay, yeah, we don't even have to drop the glove box like uh, other cars. This car, the blower motor resistor, is located right here. Let me see if I can see you. Okay. Okay, can't see one second. Flashlight. So this is the blower motor resistor. This thing right here. Okay. So we just have to take it out. To take it out, we will use. Uh, I'll bring the tools right now. <clears throat> All right. So what I'm going to use for this procedure is just an eight millimeter wretched with a little extension here okay um, I just checked that uh, it, it would be better to take the there are two screws holding the resistor right so there is one one screw here one screw here or similar like that so we have to take the glove box out to take the glove box out we have to press on the sides and just take it down. We don't have to take it out, we just have to fold it down so we could get to the upper screw. So this is what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna take a ratchet, get from here to the upper screw, that corner. Let me, let me zoom it in. Come on. This screw, okay, this one. So, yeah, I'll, I'll unscrew this now. Okay, guys, so first thing to do is we have to unplug the connector. So we, we locate the connector here. Okay, uh, it has a little, I'd say, like, leverage button on the bottom. You press it and you pull it. You, well, you can wiggle it out. It's the connector, this one, it has four wires and here okay and then we will unscrew screws all right so I pulled out the connector as you can see the connector has this this side here and this is the place you have to press press here so this thing moves so you press right here and then you pull it out okay, okay a little hint um, this connector, the, the gray one, this one, it's connected to the wall, so you just pull on it, you just have to pull on it and it's gonna go out, because it's just holding with these two pins. Okay, and now you have a nice way to the screw. Okay, so I got the um, top screw out, 
here's the top screw and uh, I just check the bottom one it's easier to use something like this if you have okay this is like a wrench you can just you know use like this or a regular wrench like this and you go from bottom here obviously you close the glove box you find you locate the, the second screw and you take it out all right I took out the old uh, resistor at this point we have to, we, would we need to check if our new, new resistor is gonna help so I put here to zero and uh, I'm, I'm locating the connector I'm gonna use I'm putting in the sensor oh the resistor okay it fit in so now As you can hear, okay, so as you can see, this is our problem, and we just solved it. So we have to now we I'm, I'm going to remove it. Yeah, because this thing gets hot if you don't use it in the right place. So carefully... Carefully remove the resistor. And the same way like we took the old one out, we put this, this resistor in. You can't go wrong because you have a... Uh, cut corner here so you locate it in put it in <clears throat> put the two screws you used before I think it's, it was like this and then plug the connector so everything totally opposite uh, like we did before right it's a complete reverse procedure so if this helps please thumbs up if not comment and uh, have a great day bye